Hi there. Welcome back to our video series of Applied Machine Learning with Kara CV and Kara CLP. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate from Google ML team. In our previous episode, we have mainly focused on computer vision. Starting from this episode, we're going to move on to natural language processing with Keras NLP. Specifically, we'll be talking about text classification today. We're going to take a progressive approach of going from basic inference with a pre-trained classifier all the way to the more advanced task of fine-tuning a custom model. This approach matches well with the design principle of Keras NLP, progressive disclosure of complexity, as we mentioned in our first episode. As a reminder, here's a high-level architecture for the BERT classifier we're going to use soon. The classifier accomplishes the classification task and has a from preset method that loads up a ready-to-use model. Under the hood, there's a BERT preprocessor which maps strings to a dictionary of tensors by invoking the BERT tokenizer to perform tokenization plus some additional preprocessing like padding. The BERT backbone converts preprocessed tensors to dense features and is where magic happens. First, we prepare our dataset by downloading the Stanford Large Movie Reviews dataset, which is a commonly used sentiment analysis dataset. Each training example contains a movie review and an integer indicating whether the review is positive or negative. In this training example, the integer is 1, so it means the review is positive. Let's first take a pre-trained classifier for speed. We can create a BERT classifier by using the from preset method. Note that there are many versions of BERT models, and we're using the tiny English uncased backbone fine-tuned on SST2 dataset. You can find out all backbones available in the link below. Then we call predict method to classify a sentence. We can also use the classifier to directly evaluate the test dataset. The result 0.46 is a loss, and 0.78 is the accuracy, which is not bad as a baseline. If we have the training data, we can improve performance by fine-tuning the model. It's very simple to fine-tune the preset's backbone model. We just call fit and pass in the training and test dataset. This time, the validation accuracy has gone up to 0.87, which is pretty good for just one epoch of training. For some advanced use cases, you might want to have finer control over preprocessing before performing fine-tuning. For example, you can break preprocessing out of the classifier. Here, we're creating the BERT preprocessor and passing it into the map function so that your data can be preprocessed and cached with your own custom logic. The rest will be the same as before, except you need to turn off preprocessing now. You can go even deeper down to use the tokenizer directly and create your own preprocessing logic, but we're going to skip that part in the interest of time. Finally, if you want to fine tune with a custom model, you can do it as well with Keras NLP. Here, we pre-process the dataset as before. As an example, for a custom model, we freeze the backbone model weights and stack two transformer encoders on top of the backbone model before producing the classification result with a dense layer. Then we can compile and fit as usual, and this is how you fine-tune a custom model. So in conclusion, today we walked through how to leverage Keras NLP to perform text classification. Whether you want to use it as an off-the-shelf pre-trained model or create a custom model to improve accuracy, Keras NLP has you covered. Obviously, we have skipped some advanced topics like creating a transformer model completely from scratch. But hopefully, what we have covered can help you get started with Keras NLP. Next time, we're going to talk about our last topic, text generation. Please stay tuned for this exciting episode. Thank you.